I have made an awful lot of videos about bonding new concrete to old concrete, but this video, I want to talk about a guaranteed failure. If you want to guarantee that your new concrete does not bond to your old concrete, no matter what it is you're making, like a driveway, a sidewalk, something decorative, a repair inside, doesn't matter. It's not going to work if you don't follow this tip. If you try to attach new concrete to existing concrete, which is smooth, this is, this is just death for concrete bonding. I, I mean, concrete doesn't really bond. You can't just pour new over old and it's all good. I mean, you can sometimes with extra steps, if you're careful and you understand it's not really as good as a uniformly poured concrete surface. One of the many things that you need to be aware of or steps you need to take in order to bond new concrete to old concrete in any kind of reasonable way or with any kind of expectation of success or longevity requires that you make the old surface not smooth. And I mean not smooth at all. Ideally, the best surface profile is, a, is to use a scrabbler, which is a concrete tool that basically just chews up the surface and creates a 3D profile, but short of having this specialized expensive equipment, you would have a chipping hammer, which is to say like a jackhammer, but the small ones, the small jackhammer. And you use these to chip away at the surface profile. Anything that's soft or weak or aged will chip off easily. And as you get further down into the surface, it will become, you know, a harder, more suitable, stable substrate. And in getting there, you create this, you know, irregular 3D profile because you're chipping off little tiny bits and pieces as you go. So that 3D profile combined with exposing a strong, suitable substrate is like the, is the way that you create a ideal surface profile for bonding new concrete to old concrete. I mean, if you wanted it to be perfect, you would do like a high velocity concrete application. Shotcrete or gunite is the only method to apply new concrete to old concrete where under laboratory conditions, there is no discernible plane of delamination. There's no cold joint between the layers because of the velocity at which the new concrete is applies, applied to the old concrete, essentially sandblasting the old surface with the new surface and you know creates this uniform essentially layer every other application for uh, applying new concrete to old concrete will be 80 percent as good and that's in an ideal sense and if that's if you've got the right consistency you've got a similar product that you're applying because if they're too dissimilar they'll have different different rates of expansion and contraction and again we've got this plane of delamination. If we do anything wrong, the two layers are going to debond from each other. It's a lot of extra work to take out chipping hammers and create a 3D surface profile by chipping out the old surface. It would be nice if you could just use like a grinder and scarify the old surface. And some people are comfortable doing that depending on what the, you know, this concrete application is because every application is unique here. But for most concrete workers, they don't even want to see a new over old. The, if you ask a professional concrete worker, they say you take out the old because you simply cannot add new to old in any kind of quality or reliable way, and they would be right. But also people aren't made of money, so sometimes you have to do stuff like this. So if you're going to try to apply new concrete over old concrete, take the time to create a 3D surface profile from the old concrete such that the new stuff will have the best potential chance to bond, not really move around, and not delaminate between the layers. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel and you can learn a ton more about how to work with concrete.